What is up guys, Patrick here from Talk, back with a brand new discussion video. We are getting our Smash hype in before Smash Ultimate releases. Yes, if you are watching this before Smash Ultimate releases, we're almost, we almost made it boys, we almost made it. It's uh, days away now from Ultimate releasing, and I'm very excited. I'm not the biggest hardcore Smash fan, but I do love the game casually. I love playing with friends. Um, I love settling, you know, an argument with a nice fight, so I'm really excited for this game to come out. There's a ton of new features, ton of new characters, so it's definitely going to be fun playing a single player mode again, but I'm really excited to try out some of the new characters, Inkling, Isabelle, so I'm, I'm very hyped. But today, uh, an interesting topic to bring to you guys, and I would love to hear your guys' feedback as well. Could Super Smash Bros. Ultimate be the last Super Smash Bros. game we get? Now, obviously... I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm not naive. You know, this is, this is a business. Video games, you know, we enjoy them as entertainment, but they are very much a business. So, of course, this won't be the last Super Smash Bros. game. Just, quite frankly, these games pull in too much money, and they're great for Nintendo. It's a very popular IP, and I think that Nintendo is kind of going in the way of making this more of an esports game, and pretty much elevating Super Smash Bros. as a platform for esports, because that, that seems to be a big thing right now. And I think that Nintendo, unlike some other things, I don't think they're going to be behind the curve when it comes to esports. They've already done some things to, to help that, you know. They've got rid of the creators program, which is a very good win for content creators. And they're now allowing creators to, you know, stream the games and make content with Nintendo footage and still get monetized for it. So... It's a, it's a win for everyone. The, the creators are happy. Now they can make more content that they probably didn't make before. And, of course, that makes the viewers happy because there's nothing better than watching, you know, what creators actually want to create. So, it's a win there. It, it opens the floodgates for streamers and, you know, for Super Smash Bros. to just take off in gaming. Um, and we've also seen people in the gaming space have interest in start, you know, to enter the community of smash a uh, prime example is ninja a famous fortnite streamer and he has expressed at least on twitter that he is very interested in smash bros ultimate and joining the smash bros community and really i mean there's there's really no better fighting community i think than the super smash bros community so i think this game is going to be huge i think it's going to be a big step for nintendo and put them you know further into the mainstream that they already are so it's very exciting there. But going back, I, so we've established that there's not, there's probably going to be more Smash Bros. game. Like, it's just naive to think that there won't be. But I think that the more interesting thing is to think of life after Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because really, I mean, how do you top a game that has Ultimate in its name? Usually when sequels come out, when, you know, the next game comes out, it's usually adding stuff, right? So it's usually adding features adding characters depending on the game you know you're adding worlds and stuff like that where if i was a betting man i would i would say that the next smash bros game would probably have to rein it in a little bit because i think if you add too many characters it kind of defeats the purpose like there's there's way too many characters at that point we're already up to what 75 um and that's i don't think that's including the dlc I, i'm not good with the numbers <laughs> but uh i think that's what a total of 80 characters after the dlc is all said and done so it's like, do you even add more characters than that? Like, I don't think I would enjoy enjoy Smash at that point if there was too many characters. And of course, you know, there's always arguments of, you know, should this character really be in this Smash Bros. game? But, you know, Ultimate does a great job of, you know, giving the fans what they want. You have a character that you miss, well, it's in this game. You have a stage that you miss, it's in this game. And I love that. It works for this game. It works for Ultimate. So it's going to be interesting to see the next game. I almost think that they rein it back. So if you if you take it if you take back to before we even heard anything about Ultimate, okay? So pre Ultimate, everyone, I mean a lot of people, at least me, was thinking that the next Smash Bros. game would be exactly that. It was it was to rein it back a little bit, maybe get rid of some characters, streamline the roster a bit, and then just change everyone's mechanics, change everyone's moves. And to me, that still sounds appealing. Obviously, it's not going to happen for quite some time. But I would love the next Super Smash Bros. game to be that. To, to kind of, you know, trim the fat a little bit. Maybe get rid of some Fire Emblem characters. Get rid of some Pokemon. 
and just really bring out the best of the best and maybe i don't know even call it like super smash bros all-stars or something or like i don't know hall of fame i don't know something like that just like the best of the best that's my only like thought when it comes to the next uh smash bros game another interesting possibility for the quote-unquote next super smash bros game is could smash bros ultimate be the first ever smash bros port now i know that people are very indifferent about the whole port situation some people like it some people didn't have a wii u and you know love to enjoy these games as quote unquote new games on the switch and some people have owned every single nintendo console so they don't like the idea of old games becoming new again but when it comes to smash bros ultimate like this could be the first smash bros port and quite honestly, I don't see a reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, you know, Smash Bros. has never ported over. Like, it, it's always stayed on its respectable console. The original Super Smash Bros. is stuck on the N64. Melee, the GameCube, Brawl, the Wii. And the Wii U, obviously, has, is staying put and won't come over. So, it's going to be interesting to see if Ultimate goes to the next Nintendo console. And I honestly think it should because... What more could you want than everything? <laughs> like, it's that's why it's so interesting to think of life after Ultimate because, like, what more could you do? Now, of course, the other interesting thing or, you know, point to talk about is when will the next Smash Bros. game come out? And I know that I might sound crazy right now, like, Pat, Ultimate isn't even out. Why are we talking about the next Smash game? But it's interesting because the, the Switch itself you know, has been projected to last around 10 years and, you know, it being a hybrid console, I don't think that there's any reason why this console shouldn't be supported for quite some time. I mean, if you look at the 3DS line, I mean, that's been supported for way, way long. I mean, some people could say way too long. And of course, the, the Switch that we know and love today is not going to be the same system in even two years time five years time it's going to evolve over time but i think that the switch brand i don't really see a you know a reason to upgrade anytime soon of course there are some problems already with you know third party games and the inability to run certain games on the console and it is going to catch up with the switch eventually there's going to become a, a point where nintendo is going to have to release a switch you know pro or release a dock that up it or something just to get these games running you know nintendo's already done some things with cloud games you know games that run off the cloud um so assuming that the switch stays around for a while i think that super smash bros ultimate could stay around for a while and if it's popular enough if it really takes off the way that i think it could i don't see why that there's any problem porting it over to another system the next nintendo console if you will and just keeping this scene alive, I know that games come and go, but something like Smash Bros. Ultimate, you have a collection of all the characters, you know, every stage, like, what more could you want? And Nintendo could easily add in more DLC, whether it's, whether it's just another wave of fighter passes or stuff like that. Just to keep this game alive, I really don't see a problem with that. Normally, I'm indifferent about ports. I kind of take it from game to game basis, but in this case... I really don't see if you guys see a problem with Smash Bros Ultimate continuing on, you know, being ported to the next system, tell me below. I'm really interested to see like a counter argument against that. But I just feel like if you have a game that's supposed to be, you know, the everything combined, I, I really don't see why you wouldn't keep that on on the next console going forward. Obviously, we don't know how you know the next console is going to play and, you know, how technology could evolve. But I don't know. This is the best that uh, Smash Bros has ever looked but then again I said that about the Wii U I said that about the Wii and it just it just keeps evolving so real quick thought um, I wanted to bring this up nothing against Sakurai the, the guy is a god when it comes to video game development and especially just the passion that he has for the series and a lot of people talk about Sakurai you know overworking himself and uh, you know doing too much and you know I agree he the quality that he puts out is just tremendous with the smash bros series however he does have a team behind him um he does have you know it's not just one guy locked in a basement making smash bros games he does have a team behind him so you know anything is possible i i every every smash bros game that has come out well at least the last two 
everyone says this is definitely Sakurai's last game. This is, I mean, put, put Sakurai to rest, man. But like, he's making probably the biggest franchise that that Nintendo has, probably besides Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart's a little bit higher. But this is the biggest franchise Nintendo has at the moment, and it's the biggest competitive franchise, probably even in line with Splatoon, for like the biggest competitive franchise. There's no way that Sakurai is getting any rest anytime soon. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. What will the next Super Smash Bros. game look like, and how long will be will Ultimate be supported? Very interested to hear your guys' opinions. Like always, guys, you can always subscribe if you like what you hear on this video, and you can always give it a like as well. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good one.